How do I successfully manage my time? I manage my time by making sure that when I'm supposed to do something, I'm doing that thing. And I seem to have been born with this thing where I just kind of know what time it is all the time. So I know like, oh, okay, it's time to start this or it's time to do that. Sometimes just say like, hey, isn't it 148? And it's like 148, right? Or whatever. I don't know what time it is right now, but I thought it was 140. Okay, I was eight minutes off. And so for me, I manage my time based off like knowing like, okay, it's time to do this or I'll block time in my day and I'll structure it in forms of, okay, during this time from eight to 11 a.m. I'm working on this. And then from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. I'm working on this. And then from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. I'm working on this. And I just don't allow anything to get in my way. So I'll either make sure that I don't have distractions, I'll close my door, I'll make sure that I'm able to work on the things that I'm working on. I'm very punctual. I love being, have to be on time with things. So when people aren't on time, it drives me nuts. So I love to just, hey, if we're starting at one, we're starting at one, you know, if we're, if it's gonna last 15 minutes, it's gonna last 15 minutes. And I think sometimes you can get kind of, you know, you can get lost in the, the continual conversation about things and it just kind of drags time on. You like attorneys, for example, yeah, it's a great time thing. They're trained to expand time, right? So I'll be on the phone with my attorneys sometimes and they, they say the same thing over again six times in six different ways. It's the same damn thing, right? It's like the, the chicken crossed the road, okay. Well, you know, there's a possibility that if it was a chicken, you know, that it could cross the road, right? And then there's like five or six other versions of that. So I'm very tuned into that and I know, and attorneys are great at that, right? Because that's how they make money. They bill you for their time. So when I'm running meetings, I try not to spend time with that. Like, let's not repeat ourselves. Let's get right to it. Let's figure out what we're talking about. Let's figure out what the next course of action is and then let's move on. And you gotta kind of run your life that way, right? It's like, okay, if we're doing this, we're doing this. Boom, let's go. And then if somebody shows up late to my house, whatever, I leave. Like, I got shit to do. So it's like, hey, we're, we're meeting at one. Okay, we're meeting at one. This is 120, I'm gone. You show up at my house, knock, knock, nobody's at home. Because otherwise it's like you get sidetracked and you get delayed and now you're delayed because somebody else was pushing you behind and all that kind of stuff. So I think you have to be very picky of your time. Like, I don't think people are picky enough about their time. Like you, you gotta be really like, you gotta covet your time. Like you gotta hold it like a treasure because you only got so much of it, right? But if you manage your time wisely, you can get a lot done. Well, I create time by just controlling my time. So I don't allow things to get in the way that would control my time. Like my time is my time. So if I'm doing something at one o'clock, I'm doing that thing at one o'clock. And if there's a bunch of distractions or a bunch of other things going on, I just don't allow myself to get involved with those distractions. So I create my own time. Like I'll fit in. What I need to get done that's important, I'll fit it in and I'll get it done. That's creating time. If you're not controlling time, which is like something needs to get done. Oh, there's not enough time. Oh, I gotta do that tomorrow you're not controlling time, right? Like I know that I can fit in whatever I need to fit in to get it done today. And if I need to then prioritize something for later, I can do that, right? And take something else that maybe I'm working on that's not as important and move it to another day. But controlling time is like, did you control your time? Like my time is my time. It ain't your time, it's my time. So, you know, I make sure that I control my time. And through controlling your time, you create time.